I don't care who you are, black or white or rich or poor. Amen. People who don't repent, God will burn your high. You know, somebody said, well, you know, we brought nothing into this world and we won't carry nothing out. You didn't bring no sin into this world, but if you die in your sins, you're going to take it with you. Right, yes. Right. Yes, Listen, if you missed that, you missed it. Yeah. You got to trust in what he did. Amen. Hello once again, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John Shannon. Uh, welcome to the Church of Christ. We have another good lesson for you, taken from Romans 6, 17 to 23. Uh, we call this lesson Freedom. Please stay tuned. in a world where people are looking for something. Yes, sir. They are looking for drug-free communities. All right. They are looking to have to be debt-free. Yes, sir. Oh, I got one in man right there. <laughs> looking for pain. And problem free. Yes, sir. We have places called smoke free. All right. Restaurants and airports. It used to be that if you smoke, you on a plane, you had to go to the back. Uh -huh. Now they cut all that out. All right. Then we're looking at looking for crime free Amen. neighborhood. Amen. Look like it's everywhere. Yes, sir. We even talk about cancer free. Are, are you still with me? Cancer free. Stain free. Amen. Sugar free. Yes, sir. Mike, you know anything about that, Mike? Sugar free, right? Salt free and fat free and caffeine free. That's what folk are looking for. Amen. <laughs> in Exodus chapter 12 verse number uh, Exodus 12 through Exodus 14 the children of Israel were freed from Egyptian bondage yes, then we have that's Israel mm -hmm. July the 4th 1776 the Americans watch it got their liberty from England I believe it was uh, July the 4th 1776 and the famous statement said, give me liberty or give me death. Right. Then in 1865, the slaves in America, black slaves in America, yeah. they were free. Right. Amen. Yeah. Then we have April, uh, August the 6th, 1962, Jamaica received their freedom and uh, independence from Great Britain. Uh -huh. Amen. And you all can check all this out, but if I'm wrong, you just correct me there. Now, all of that free stuff is good. All right. Right? It's good. And people are looking for that. And maybe you're looking for it. What about being made free from sin? You can get all this over here. And guess what? You're still going to die. Yes, sir. Watch this now. The worst kind of slavery, sometimes we think the worst kind of slavery is was uh, under bondage, under a different coach. Uh, that's not the worst slavery. Amen. But see, you don't, you don't want to really know that, and that's why I'm here today. Amen. The worst kind of slavery is to be a slave in sin. Amen. Now let me tell you something. You can't go to heaven with sin. Amen. Right. You don't have to die in sin. Amen. Good. Uh, Romans chapter 6, 17 to 23 there. We read earlier there. And I think uh, that you, you began to get the picture. Now, it's up to you to be free. Amen. Now, let me do this. Amen. Good. All right. Put it over here. I got it. I got it this time. Amen. Now, here's something that you need to look at. I want everybody to really pay attention to this. It's called, this is atonement. And another word for translation is reconciliation. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. That means be friends again. Yes, sir. Christ Jesus died on the cross and made it possible that we could be free from sin. Uh -huh. Now listen to this now. 
He did a work. Do that Romans 5, verse number 8, it says, God, but God commanded his love toward us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died. Now listen, you got to get this now. Christ died on the cross. What, what, what do you mean? His vicarious death. The innocent for the guilty. Yes, sir. And it pleased God to bruise him. Now, brethren, you need to focus on Jesus the Christ. Amen. Then, uh, verse 9 says, Much more than being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from the wrath through him. For if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son, much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. Amen. And no, and not only so, but we also joy in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom we have now received the look at this at one me. What do you mean at one me? What do you mean we're at one me? We're together. If you obey the gospel, you at one me. You're reconciled back to God. And that's the greatest blessing you could ever Amen. see. Amen. Uh, Sister Smith there, uh, Sister Kim Dina Smith. Amen. She obeyed the gospel. Right. Maybe she don't realize it, but that's the best move she ever made in her life. Right. Right. Why? Because she got access to God. She can pray. Amen. She's Amen. one of God's children. Amen. That's pretty good. Amen. Now, it's what he did for us. Yeah. Now, brother, get this now. It's not what we do, but what he did. Right, Pretty good? Yeah. Now, you don't need to die in your sins. Okay? Now, let's, let's do it like this. That's, that's all right here. That all right? And yeah. we're going to push this out of the way here now. That's a little five-minute introduction to our lesson here. That's pretty good? Now, I want you to put up the Galatians, if you would, to Brother Pettit, or Brother Rico, or Brother Wesley. I want you to read that. Look at it carefully. Look up on the board there. All right? Look. I want everybody to look at this now. You need to get this. Get this. It says, knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law. That's the law of Moses. Right. In other words, all of that stuff on the law of Moses, a man could never be justified before God. Amen. You listening to me? Amen. All the riches and all that stuff, the animal sacrifice, you could never be justified uh, 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 in sight of God by that stuff of the law of Moses. But look at this. Look here. Look at this. Look, look. Not by the works of the Lord Moses, but by. Yes, sir. Oh, let's look at this. Yeah. Not by, but by yeah. the faith of Jesus Christ. What does that mean? That does not mean your faith in Jesus. Right. That means the work that he did on the cross. Yes, sir. So what you need to trust in is the work that he did. Yes, Listen, if you missed that, you missed it. Yeah. You got to trust in what he did. Yeah. And when you trust and obey what, if you trust and obey him, he'll save you. Right. Yeah. Watch this now. Then it says, even we who believe in Jesus. Now, we see his work, but us believing in him. Right. So you got to believe in what he did. Mm -hmm. He did something that nobody else could do. That's pretty good. Uh, we might be justified by the faith of Jesus Christ, that is, and not by the works of the law, for by the works of the law uh, shall no flesh be justified. Yes, now we got about 17 minutes. Yeah, we're good here now. <laughs> Yeah, boy, I'm doing, doing pretty good this morning, Joe. Right we're talking about freedom. Not just freedom. In the text that was read, in Romans uh, chapter 7, 6, 17 to 23, we have liberty in the Lord, 17 and 18. We have loyalty to the Lord, 19 to 20. And we have longevity from Christ. You got that? 21 to 23. Y'all see that? Amen. You see that? Now I want you to listen carefully. Get your listening ears on. Are you free from sin? Now we don't talk about all this fat free stuff over here. <laughs> and everybody looking for fat free, sugar free, and all of that stuff. Everybody want to be free. Right. 
Are you free from sin? And remember what Christ has already done. He's already did his work. Now, let's say, wait a minute, we see the way of sin is dead, right? Uh, Jesus said in John 8, 32, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Make you what? Free. 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 Right? Now, here's a man, condemnation. Over here, no condemnation. Uh-huh. You and one or the other. Right. Yep. Now watch, let's, let's, let's run down this right quick here. In 1 Corinthians 6, 9 to 11, two points, main points we want to deal with. The first one is sin of a personal nature. Yes, sir. They would. Sins of a personal nature. Mm-hmm. Then we're going to look at sin of a public nature. Yes, sir. Everybody missed that? Yes, sir. Let's look at sexual sin, fornication. Look at number nine. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived. Don't fool yourself. Neither fornicators. That's sexual sin. Mm-hmm. Right. Neither idolaters. What is that? That's spiritual sin. Neither adulterers, uh, infinity, uh, abuse of themselves and mankind. Look what we got. Now we got social sin. Look, look at what we got. We got sexual sins, spiritual sins, social sins. Yes, sir. Anybody guilt? Yep. Right, now we're going to look at what number 10 here. Now look at here. Sins of a public nature. Their wants. Now the thieves. See, thieves want something. Right. They want what you had. All right. And they'll break in your house and get it. Yes, sir. Then, then we have their will. Then it says, night of drunkards. Uh-huh. Oh, boy. That's your will to be a drunkard? Their words are revivals. Their ways extortioners. Look at this. Shall not inherit the kingdom. Hmm. Well, so they are really listening to this. All right, Boy, you all look out and say, man, look at that. <laughs> Help us, now, look over here. You got worldly sins and sins of error. And see, old devil, he's got most of the people in the world, and I know he got most of the people in America, and it seems like he got most of the people in Memphis. Yes, sir. Right. Does he have anybody in with James Rowe? Yeah, All right, Does he have you? Now let me watch this. Somebody say he ain't got me. If you're guilty of any of this over here, he got you. Right. Yeah. But see, you, you're going by feelings. Right. Right. You can't go by feelings, you got to think. Right. That's the power of the word of God. Now you got it? Man's ways. Got it? Man's thoughts. And disobedient. Look at this. Look, look, a lot of things seem right. In Proverbs 14, 12, it says, There's a way that seemeth right unto man, but the end there are the ways of death. Now, wait a minute. You mean tell me, preacher, see, you don't want to die with all this on you. Right. Aren't you tired of traveling life? How old are you? 50 what? You've been carrying that stuff around that long. Don't you know you're just tying yourself down right. spiritually and physically? And when you go, you need to say, wait a minute, I, I need to do something about this. Mm-hmm. You know, I remember one time being in, in the Osceola, Arkansas, preaching one night, and there were two grown men, looked like they about in the 40s or 50s, and, and I said, you ought to be a man at least one time in your life. And he jumped up and ran down the aisle. He said, I'm going to be a man one I'm going to obey the gospel. He said, I'm going to give a try. I'm going to trust in Jesus and do what he tell. Right. So he, he obeyed the gospel. The next night, his Fred, his buddy came back and said inside he said, I'm going to be a man tonight myself too. And right. both of them Amen. obeyed the gospel. Good. We got any men in here? All right. <laughs> we got any men in We got any women in here? All right. Good. Anybody here? All right. Look, that's pretty good. Isn't it? Now, now, the way you've seen is death. Now, you don't want to die. You know, somebody said, well, you know, we brought nothing into this world and we won't carry nothing out. You didn't bring no sin into this world, but if you die in your sins, you're going to take it with you. Right, yes, sir. <laughs> Is that right, Brother Cochran? Right. You're going to take it with you. Amen. 
And then I don't see my buddy here, Brother Jones here. Brother, what is his name for his name? Earl. Earl, Earl Ray said, Brother Shannon, I've got to do right because I don't think I can handle that fire. <laughs> can you handle the fire? All right. I, I can't handle that fire. Now. Amen. I get to think about some man. Listen, it, it would have been hard here at Hadn't it been hot? Yes, sir. It's been hot here. Wesley, well, you can attest to that. Yes, it's been hot here, right? Yes, sir. I guarantee you, if you go to hell, you think it's hot here, you think it's a refrigerator back here. <laughs> you don't want to die like that, and you don't have to die. Look at what Christ has done for you. Right. Now, all you've got to do is one thing, is obey it. What'd you say? All you've got to do is put your trust in what he did on the cross. Amen. Died, shed his blood for the sins of the world. And all you got to see is, look here, the blood of Jesus Christ. That brethren, without the shedding of blood, there's no remission of sin. And what Jesus did, listen, all we got to do is just obey. Right. Wait a minute, somebody said, I don't understand that. I don't understand just obey. That's just obey. Amen. Amen. You got to do a whole lot of talking. Keith, you ain't got to do a lot of talking. You know, I, I went to the video the other day, Joe, and I was up there talking to the machine. You know what the man told me? He says, hey, man, don't talk. Put the card up there. Uh -huh. Let's put the card on there. It's going to tell you everything. Everything is on the card. Just obey what the machine says. Right. A lot of times we want to get down and pray and bother God. All we got to do is what Jesus said. Because right. he's already done the main work. Right. The ground's about salvation. Right. Now, what, what, how, how can a person be saved? Now watch this man. Number one, they got to hear and believe the gospel of Jesus Christ over here. He look, look, look at this. We talk about his his death, his burial, and his resurrection from the grave, right. and his ascension back to heaven. Yes, sir. First Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Do you believe that? Wait a minute. Do you believe he did this for you? Do you believe that? You gotta believe that now. Amen. Now it's not what you do, but what he did. Right. This is the ground or the basis of our salvation. Now, all you got to do, put this up there right quick if you can, uh, Brother Petty, Hebrews chapter 5, verse 89. Let's, let's do that quickly here. We're going to get out here in my time. Maybe somebody won't obey the God. Right. Hebrews 5, verse 89. Let me show you something about Christ. Look, isn't this good? Yes, Brother Jones, this good? All right, Hebrews 5. Look, it says, though he were a son, yet learn he obedience by the things he suffered. That's what it's talking about right here. Right. Right. And then it says, and being made perfect. What do you mean? He did a perfect plan for man. Perfect. He became the, look, he became the author of eternal salvation. Look at this. Unto all of them that obey him. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Whatever he says, do it and don't talk back. Right. Now you got to believe that this is the first time. Right. Faith come by here and hearing by the word of God. Do you believe what you just heard? Wait a minute. Do you believe Jesus died on the cross and paid it all? No man could do this. Amen. Why? Because Christ was sinless. You got that? Now he did it. Now you got to put your trust in what he says. Right, man. You ain't got to get out and pray all night. Somebody beat you in the back and you're trying to get some. Just get up. Amen. Let's get up. Get up. Don't go on no feelings. Somebody say, I feel like this. Y'all go to the grocery store. They got a what they got a, a store called uh what is what's the name of these stores now? Kroger? And uh, what else you got to save, save a lot. what is it? Save a lot. Save a lot in all these stores. Can you know you you ever go in the store and get a basket and roll your basket around there and you don't go over there and feel the can and see what's in it. You can't feel the can. All you got to do is read the label. Right. Let's read the label, right? Because green beans and corn, if you can feel the same way. Right? If you want to know what church you get in, you ain't got to be feeling for it. Just go here and read the label. Right. Amen. There it is. Read the label. It's in there. Amen. Is that right, Joe? It's in there. All right. Now, that's simple. Now, here's, here's a part right here. Is repentance. Acts 17, 30, the, the text says, the time of this thing that God winked at, but now commanded all men everywhere to repent. Yes, sir. Well, why? Because of what he done. Right. You really need to repent. What do you mean? You need to change your mind, and what this is God speaking to you and telling you, I've been good to you a long time. Right. And I've 
giving you a chance to hear my word, why don't you obey it? Because if you die with this on you, you can't come to heaven. Right. And you no reason for that. Now. Nope. Can you imagine a person that would work at a soap factory and they stink? <laughs> right. <laughs> Keep. <laughs> what do you think about that? Man, work at a soap factory, he's stinking. <laughs> man, come on, somebody say amen. amen. Here you are right now. You you don't have to go over there. You don't you don't have to be stinking now. You can go over here. Amen. <laughs> See, because the blood of Christ going to clean you up. Amen. 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 Are you ready to make your mind up about changing? Yeah. What do you mean, Brother Shannon? There's some things you're going to have when you're coming to Jesus Christ, listen to me. There are some things in this life you're going to have to give up. Right. See, God cannot save you because you just say, I believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God. No. You think he's going to save you on no turn? Well, the <laughs> devils believe and they tremble. Right. A lot of people think, oh, I just believe in God. And see, these denominations people tell you, just believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. So I don't have to make no changes. No, Jesus paid it all. Really? He did his part, but you got a part. And one of them is repentance. Jesus said, I tell you now, except you repent, you all likewise should pay. Yes, sir. Paul said, the time of this evening, God winked it, but now commanded all men everywhere to repent because he had appointed a day in which he was going to judge us. Amen. And what about repentance? Mm -hmm. This stuff here? All this stuff here? Listen, uh-uh. You might change your mind. Right. See, there's some things that God, it's impossible for God to do. It's impossible for God to save you and you don't change your mind about this. Right. Amen. I stopped there, Jeff. See, because we, we, we're talking to people in the world. You need to know, uh, somebody tell you, just put your hand on the radio and you be saved. You radio nothing. You better put your mind to hear what he's saying about repentance. Amen. You cannot be saved unless you repent. Amen. Right. I don't care who you are, black or white or rich or poor. Amen. People who don't repent, God will burn your high. Amen. 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 Well, Brother Shannon, I think I'm just about that. Now see here, where the sin is dead. The pay for sin is dead. Amen. But you don't have it. For the wage of sin is death, but, see it's a but there, the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. Now what are you going to do? All right now, would you confess with your mouth? The eunuch said, I, um, the, the, the eunuch said, I believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Right. Well, wait a minute. Well, what about baptism? What's that for? Jesus said, go into all the world and preach the gospel. Now, this is what Jesus said. Right. Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that, look at this. Hey, look, look. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. Now let me ask a question. Are you saved before you're baptized or baptized and then you're saved? Right, wait, wait a minute. Look, gotta get it. Are you saved before you're baptized or baptized and then you're saved? He that believe it and is baptized shall be saved. Now some people say, well, all you gotta do, you're saved and then you you believe, you believe, you're saved, and then you're baptized, and, and that's the way it is. See? He, he said, look here, I got, look, there's a B there. Say, I mean, believe, say, there's a B there, there's a B there, and there's an S there. That's the same thing. No way, no way well, you do it. Look here, he that believeth, and plus baptism, he can salvation. That's what they say. Now watch this. That's what the Bible says. Right. They'll say, listen, you say, you, you believe, you say, and then you're baptized. Right. See that? Now somebody said, you got to be there and be there. You got to be there and you got to be here. You got to S there and S there. That's the same thing. Yeah, that, that, that seems like it's right. right? <laughs> Don't it seem like it's right? That seems right. That seems like it's right. Now watch this. Man. Watch this. Here's a you you owe me ninety-one dollars. <laughs> and I uh, said, well, he said, no, that's the same thing. You got a nine there, and a nine there, you got a one and one. 
Saturday. That's the same thing. It's the same thing. It's a joke. <laughs> See, everybody understand that. Now, how many of you buy this? You wouldn't buy this. Amen. Uh -oh. No, you wouldn't buy this. Jesus said, he that believes in this baptized shall be saved. Not he that believes in the same and baptized. That's what they say. But that, you got it. Did you get it? Now, watch this. Now, once you're baptized, after baptism, now let's get this straight here. Baptism does not wash sins away. The blood of Christ is the wash sins away. See, that's what you're depending on this. Now, listen to this. Don't be converted to hearing, believing, repenting, confess, and baptism. Don't you dare be converted to water baptism. You need to be converted to Christ. Amen. And what he's telling you to do. Because faith saved, repent saved, confession saved, baptism saved. But Christ is the Savior. Amen. You got that? Amen. So you see that. Now, what's going to happen once you're baptized? This symbolizes your sins are gone away. Now, what's going to happen now? You're going to be over here. You're going to be in Christ. What's over here? All spiritual blessings. Ephesians 1, 7, uh, 1 3. Watch it. Uh, Ephesians 1 7, in whom we have redemption through his blood to forgive us of sin. Where is the, the blood? You can't have forgiveness of sin without the blood of Christ. Amen. And none of the blood is over here, it's over here. Amen. And when you're baptized, you're baptized into the body, you're baptized into Christ, you contact the blood. Amen. You're in Christ, you're in the church all the same time. Once you do this, you don't join no church. No, sir. You're added to the church. Amen. No condemnation. Over here, you're condemned. Yes, right over here, you're not condemned. There is therefore now no condemnation to them who are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but the Spirit. Watch it. Liberty is in Christ. The blood of Christ is in, is in Christ. Propitiation for our sin. And a new creature, where? In Christ. Second Corinthians 5, verse 17. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. What do you mean? He's saved. He's free. Amen. Now you got to walk in newness of life. Yes, walk in the light. It's in the light. We have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Christ cleanses us from our sin. In my conclusion. No. Is there one in the audience? They've never been baptized into Christ for the mission of sin. And you have your faith in Jesus, what he did? I'll tell you what, I, 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 I preached like this, spread a many times. I've seen a run down the aisle. Amen. Obey the gospel. Somebody said, Brother Shani, you didn't preach long enough. I preached long enough. I preached long enough to save Memphis. Amen. If you obey. Yeah. I preached pre all day long, had sweating and all that. If you're going to obey the gospel, what you need to do, just get up and say, wait a minute, I need to do this. Amen. Why? Yeah. Because we live in a city. That's so cruel yes, and so wicked until little babies, innocent babies, being killed by gangsters, thugs, for no reason at all. Amen. And it may be a gun, a bullet guy may be putting a bullet in the gun now just for you. Yes, sir. Just for you, and you don't even know it. Right. And you hear what you need to do, and you say, well, I think I'll put it off. Well, I don't think it's a good idea. Right. Now, I'm not trying to force you to do nothing, but I want you to think how good God has been to you to let you know what is already prepared for you, and all you got to do is come down the aisle and say, I believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God, and I'll be baptized like Jesus said. Amen. Peter said, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sin. Now, all you got to do is do that. What? That's all. But that's the easy part. The hardest part is right here when you start walking in the light. If you're here, and we'll come. Do it right now together we stand and stand. Thank you again for watching uh, these television programs. Please continue to watch and study your Bible.